Welcome to the Walk Talks podcast, a resource produced by Southland Christian Ministries located in Ringgold, Louisiana. Our purpose is to provide you with daily devotions so that you can faithfully grow in your relationship with Christ each and every day. We hope these truths will be an encouragement to you as you hear from God's Word today. And I give unto them eternal life. And they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. John 10, 28. Welcome back to Walk Talks. I'm Scott Bratt from Southland sharing today's devotional from God's Word. This verse has a life-changing promise given by Christ. A promise that we need to know, and we need to hold fast, and we need to rejoice in, and we need to share with others. The promise is eternal security. So, as a little boy, I used to play a game with my grandpa, Brad. He would take a piece of candy and wrap his fingers tight around the candy. And if I could get it, I could have it. I used any and every tactic I could think of. I would pull and pry and hang from his hand, and I scratched and bit to try and take that candy from him. He just held tight and laughed, and once he had had fun and and I was kind of getting upset the game would kind of be over and he'd normally give me the candy Uh, he was way stronger than me and he knew that there was no way I could get that out of his hand this is the picture that Christ is painting to the Pharisees and I give unto them the them is believers his sheep eternal life and they shall never perish neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. Eternal security. Christ shares this promise to these Pharisees in John 10 that he gives eternal life, a life that won't see death, a life that lasts as long as the one giving it. The next verse, verse 29, attaches this to some great power. My Father which gave them me is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. Our salvation and security is connected and dependent on our Savior, on the one who has given us salvation. He is the giver of eternal life and greater than all. We are not holding on to Him. He is holding on to us. He is the Almighty and more powerful than anything. This means we have eternal security upon receiving eternal life. This means we don't have to doubt. We don't need to doubt. We are secure. This means we don't need to fear. We are secure. This means we don't need to work. We are secure. This means we don't need to quit. We are secure. This means we don't need to wonder. We can know we are secure forever, eternally. That is the wonder of our Savior's great gift. Once saved, always saved. You don't have to doubt or fear or try and work for it or give up because you'll never be good enough. It is our Savior's gift of eternal life. You may have doubts about your salvation. I've talked to many that have doubts about their salvation here at camp. And my question is a simple one and straightforward. Did Jesus die on the cross for you? Many answer yes and that is believing in jesus to the question did jesus die on the cross for you yes jesus saves that is a believer it's not about how great of a prayer you prayed or if you said the right words or if you were old enough or if you were still young enough, if you had done enough good, or if you've hadn't done any 
wrong, too much wrong since you got saved. No. Christ died on the cross for you. That's salvation. Earlier in John 10, verse 11, Jesus teaches this verse. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. The sheep are believers, as he teaches in John 10. And Christ gave his life for our redemption. And that covers all sin. That covers believers. It is not a prayer that saves you. It is not good work that saves you. It is not baptism, giving, or church that saves you. It is only Jesus that saves. Once he gives that life, it is eternal and secure. Once saved, always saved. This, power, this promise is powerful and it corrects so much wrong thinking that is taught so often. And it is this promise that leads us into a life that our walk taught. Thanks for listening to the Walk Talks podcast. We trust that what you've heard today has challenged your walk with God. It is our prayer that through this podcast, every listener would strive to become more like Christ and faithfully live for Him each and every day. Join us next time, and God bless.